and some Led Zeppelin. Let's go to California in standard E uh, concert pitch tuning, not an alternative tuning. So. Spent my days with a woman unkind. She smoked my stuff and drank my wine. Made up my mind to make a new start. Going to California with the naked. Someone told me there's a girl out there with love in her eyes and flowers in her hair. My chances on a big jet plane Never let them tell you that they're homesick Oh, the sea was red and the sky was grey Wondered how tomorrow could ever follow today Mountains in the canyon started tremble and shake Children of the sun begin Wake. Watch out. Seems like a wrath of the gods got a punch in the nose and it started to flow. Think I might be sinking. Throw me a line if I reach it in time. I'll meet you up there with a path run straight and high. Without a king, they say she plays guitar and cries and sings. La 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 la. Ride a white mare in the footsteps of dawn. Trying to find a woman who's never, never, never been born. Standing on a hill in my mountain of dreams, telling myself it's not as hard, hard. As it seems, ah, 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 ah. my mind to make it a start going to California that's today's lesson going to California by Led Zeppelin hey jammers how you doing welcome to triadmusicstudio.com uh, so go to California I'm doing this in standard tuning not in an alternative tuning like Jimmy Page did I like doing it there in standard. I think it's pretty, it's nice, it's easy. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. And I know this song is an alternative tuning, so but we're gonna do it in this nice easy way here in standard tuning. So uh, let's do a close-up. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the chords uh, here, going to California is in the key of D, and the chords are D. There's a, a G, and there's going to be a G major seven, like so. Also, a G six, which is just having the 
first string open and those two in there. And a G add D, or some people say a G add 5, so it's the second string, third fret. Not the first string, we're not using it for that when we come to that chord. Um, there's also going to be an A7, like so, and an A suspended 4, like so. There's an F in this song also. I'm going to be playing also a bar G besides a normal G. Uh, the open G, but a bar G. And there's a D minor. That's going to be in the song. And last but not least, we're going to be, uh, there's going to be a D suspended 2. Let's, uh, I guess you don't know. Oh, and there's a D suspended 4 too, but the last one is going to be a D suspended 2. So if you know how to make a D for a D suspended 4, you're just putting your, uh, you're keeping your D shape and putting your little finger on the first string, third fret. And for the D suspended 2, you know, here's your D shape. You just lift the second finger off so the first string is actually open. Uh, Alright, so th those are the chords. Now, the finger picking pattern that I'm doing here. Uh, is going to remain the same throughout the entire song, this pattern. And what I'm doing is, so I'm using what's called claw hammer style. Claw hammer, uh, in that it looks like the claw that pulls the nails out and the hammer head to hammer them back in. Claw hammer style. I don't know if some people call this two finger style. That could be. I, I know it and refer to it as claw hammer. Um, so, uh, we're going here, I'm going into the inside strings and I'm going to be in the second, I'm making the D chord, I'm going to be in the second string here with my second finger and on the fifth string with the thumb and I'm going to pick that, those two at the same time. And I'm going to go one, and then I'm coming in, I'm, after that I pick those two, I'm going to use my first finger, go to the third string, and then I'm going to the fourth string with the thumb. So it's like one, two, three. Alright, and uh, then... After we do that, we're going to go with the second finger to the first string and pick that and then then back to the two middle strings, which is the third and the fourth. And use the first finger again and the third and the thumb and the fourth. So I'm always coming back to the two middle strings, to the third and the fourth string with my first finger and the th thumb. Every single time. What's changing is going back and forth between the first and second string with these fingers. But every time I do that, I'm always coming back to the, to the third and fourth string. So I'm going, here's the whole pattern. So again, I start in the here I go to those middle strings, three, four, first string, and go back to three, four. Like so. That's the pattern the whole that I use for this the whole way through the entire song. Now, it starts on this D and there's like a little intro and I did that four times and what I mean by four times is if I go through that finger picking pattern I'll count that as one time that I did that whole thing 
and I do, I'll need to do that in that little intro, I'll either do it two or four times before I start singing. That's all how I feel at the time. Well, you, you do the same. If you like doing it four times, do it four. If you want to do it six or eight, go ahead. Do it six or eight times. You know, just keep it going. As long as you like. Anyway, like I say, I do it about four, and then I finally switch to the G chord. And this is where the vocals start. With the spent my days with a woman unkind. Now it starts with a G, and I'm doing that pattern here. But this time I'm starting on the first string, doing that. And I'm also getting the G, so I'm getting two Gs. See, I went back to those middle strings again. So that's spent my, I'm finished with the G. I now draw, drop here to the uh, uh, first string, second fret with my first finger. I lifted this one off and I'm actually muting the A right there. That doesn't matter, we're not playing it anyway. Point is, I'm dropping from this G note here down one fret. G note at the third, first string, third fret, little finger, to the first string, second fret, first finger, which is a G major seven. Same pattern. I'm going to do those two chords. Whoops. And now I lift this off to open. See, I went back to those middle strings again. So the notes that are going here is and then I bring the little finger in here to, on the second string, third fret to the D note. Again with the little finger and now I shift my, my picking hand over to, to get that second string but I'll do the same pattern. So I'm going to do that little section right there. Right, and that's the part we're singing. Spent my days with a woman unkind. She smoked my stuff and drank. And you see that was done twice. That whole G uh, stuff there was done twice. And then it goes to a D. And I'm back to this pattern just like it was the same way I played a D in the intro. Except, so I'll do it one time like that, that D. Now I'll go here and add this little finger to the D for a D suspended 4 and I'll pick this and pull that off. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do both D's. All right, one more time. There's the D. Now it starts uh, the the next vocal part, uh, which is uh, made up my mind to make him start going to California with the Nike. The D again in my heart. Now the next like three little lines there in this verse area. So this, I guess you could say the third verse. And it's, Someone told me there's a girl out there with love in her eyes and flowers. D again, in her hair. So that D was done, uh, those two Ds were done twice. So that whole G uh, thing there, um, was done with, with the G going to those D's uh, was done three times. All right, next I go to an F, a full barred F, and I'm doing the same finger picking pattern. I'm starting uh, with my thumb here is on the sixth string and my second finger in the second string, pick them at the same time, and then go to those middle strings. So I'm going. And then I go to the 
first string, second finger, and the middle strings again. So here's the F. Then I like to slide up to a full bar G. We could go to an open G. I'll show you the open first. That works, but I like to slide up to the full bar G because I like the sound of that. You hear that? That's, that's nice. When I get up there to that uh, G like that, I'm picking the first string and then lifting my hand off to get the open strings because those two notes are in a G chord so it just sounds neat I, I think uh, like so I just like that sound we'll do that again back uh, to a D and a D suspended 4 which I'm pulling off to a D so I start in the D D suspended 4 and I'm going to pull it off to the D So I'm going to do all that all over again from the F to the G to those D's. Okay, then it does the F and G again. And to the D again, but it holds just a D. That's what I'm doing. I'm holding just a D. Doing that same finger picking pattern. I hold that D for two to four times. Again, it's however long I feel like at the time. Uh, if you want to hold a uh, two, great, four, six, whatever. Uh, uh, and so uh, again, after verse two is over, this time we're not going to go to the, the F and the G thing uh, because the, the verse that comes in there that's being sung is that part that goes, the mountains and the canyon sky tremble and shake. Children of the sun begin to awake. This is the part where he goes, watch out. Remember that in the song? Watch out. Uh, and that's on the D. And then we're going to a D minor. With the seems like the wrath of the guys got a punch in the nose and it started to flow. I think it might be, and it's the same finger picking pattern as before. Uh, after that D minor, which uh, is done, I think that was four times. Let me count that. Seems like a wrath one, but no, no, two. Might be. Yeah, it was four times, right? And uh, then we're going to an A7. Now I like to make the A7 like this, which is actually a G7 form, even though it doesn't look like it, but it is. Uh, I'm not doing this A7, which is truly A7 form, but I'm taking my first finger and barring it at the second fret on the second, third, and fourth string. And then bringing my third finger down here in the first string, third fret. And of course the A string, the fifth string, is open. So there's my A7. Same finger picking pattern um, as before. So I, again, it seems that the wrath of God's got a punch in the nose and it started to flow. I think it might be A7 sinking. And then an A suspended four. You know how to make an A, just slide this up one fret so that you're on the second string, third fret of the four. I think, uh, I think it might be sinking. Let's pick just one time with that pattern. Back to the A7 again and the A suspended four again. Uh, so. That's repeated a couple of times there. 
I'm going to do that whole section again. So it seems that the wrath of the gods got a punch in the nose and it started to flow. I think it might be sinking. A7, A suspended 4, A7, A suspended 4, D minor again. Throw me a line if I reach it in time. I'll meet you up there with a path run straight. A7 and high. A suspended 4, A7, A suspended 4, and back to D. And again, you're holding that D of two times, four times, however uh, long you like, and you're going to do verse 3 now, which is the same as verse 1 and verse 2. Uh, all those chords, those G's and whatnot. Uh, and I'm going to do that. Uh, and we're coming to near the end of the song now. Almost finished. So we're coming to uh, the last line for the verse. And it's... Uh, Standing on a hill in my mountain of dreams Telling myself it's not as hard, hard, hard as it seems And sometimes I say it's hard or nothing at all And you keep that D going With that D suspended pulling off And then it does the F stuff again F to G D D suspended 4 F G and here comes the very end part. D. Doing that pattern once and then lift off for D suspended two. D again. D suspended two. D again. D suspended two. And that's the part where you're putting in that. Or whatever you want to. Ooh, la 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 la. Whatever type, type of ending you like. Uh, Maybe you don't want to sing at all. And eventually, I'll just make the D shape and strum it to end. Okay, so something else we could do here, like for instance, the Fs, if you have a hard time with a full F, uh, you could probably make a partialized. And then it's going to change the pattern a little bit here. Mm -hmm. but it, actually, it's the, the same, but you're going to different strings because you're only in the first let's say four strings you're going so it's like one two three one two three the middle strings now become these two the second and, and third so you could do that When I'm making that D chord, uh, I'm, I'm using the A string as my bass note. So I'm going I'm not using the D, I'm using a, it's actually a slash chord, D slash A. So I'm using the again the, the, the A string, the fifth string open when I'm doing the D. See, it's the same finger picking pattern. Now, something else that you could do if, if you want to try, uh, I'm going to say uh, tune the drop D tuning, or some people call it low D tuning, potato, potato. Uh, take the uh, open E string and tune it down to a D. So, you can, uh, now we can use that as the bass note for the D. But it's the same finger picking pattern. But when you go to do the G, you got to jump way up here now with the fifth string, uh, uh, the sixth string, uh, fifth fret, and then you got to begin playing like so. Spent my days with a woman unkind. She smoked my stuff and drank. So it's the same finger picking pattern. You just stand on that G bass note is here right now since we dropped D tuning. Got to bring it up to since I dropped it down to. And then you just move this to those 
G major, uh, and then G major 7, and G6, and G add D. So this finger is doing all that work then. Uh, it just gives you kind of that nice full sound there, you know, with that drop D. So it's, it is an alternate tune, it's just not like, you know, Jimmy <laughs> is doing. Okay, so that's some of the things you can, uh, the, the way I, you know, do this. There's certain times I feel like doing the drop D, so I'll do it that way, and other times I feel like doing it in standard tuning without the drop D. So it's whatever mood I'm in that uh, I feel like is which one I'll do. And so you can do the same. I hope this helps you, as always. Thank you so much uh, for watching and uh, please come back often uh, and visit the website we're putting more goodies there all the time hey thanks guys bye bye